On this episode of The Social Plug, we find out more about the AstraZeneca vaccine. How does the AstraZeneca vaccine work? The AstraZeneca vaccine is made from an adenovirus, which is a weakened version of a common cold virus from chimpanzees. It has been modified to contain genetic material shared by the coronavirus, although it can't cause illness. Once injected into the body, it teaches the immune system how to fight the real virus. Who should be vaccinated first? While vaccine supplies are limited, it is recommended that priority be given to health workers at high risk of exposure and older people, including those aged 65 or older. Who can take the vaccine? Vaccination is recommended for persons with underlying health conditions that have been identified as increasing the risk of severe COVID-19, including obesity, cardiovascular disease, respiratory disease and diabetes. Persons living with HIV or autoimmune conditions or who are immunocompromised are part of a group recommended for vaccination, may be vaccinated only after receiving information and counselling. Vaccination can be offered to people who have had COVID-19 in the past and can be offered to breastfeeding women if they are part of a group prioritized for vaccination. The WHO does not recommend discontinuation of breastfeeding after vaccination. Should pregnant women be vaccinated? Pregnant women may receive the vaccine if the benefit of vaccinating a pregnant woman outweighs the potential vaccine risks. Pregnant women at high risk of exposure to SARS-CoV-2 Example, health workers or who have additional health concerns which add to their risk of severe disease may be vaccinated in consultation with their health care provider. Who is the vaccine not recommended for? People with a history of severe allergic reaction to any component of the vaccine should not take it. The vaccine is not recommended for persons younger than 18 years of age pending the results of further studies. What's the recommended dosage? The recommended dosage is two doses given intramuscularly with an interval of 8 to 12 weeks. Additional research is needed to understand longer-term potential protection after a single dose. Vaccination has been shown to contribute to reducing deaths and severe illness from COVID-19 and to reduce the transmission of COVID-19. Social Plug Fiji. Click on the subscribe button to stay up to date on all our latest videos.